Dreamweaver CS4 features some really nice integration with other programs that can significantly speed up your workflow. Most integration is understandably within the Creative Suite, but other programs, like Word, feature differing levels of integration as well. It's not often that I have to break bad news to the Mac folks, but this is sadly one of those times. The integration between Word and Dreamweaver that I'm about to show only works on the PC version of Dreamweaver. Still, you Macs folks should keep watching because there is one option in the following example that does work for you, and it's something you might want to take advantage of later on. Here I have the journal underscore start.htm file open from the 0505 folder. If I go up to the menu and I go to File, notice that when I go to Import on the PC, I not only see XML and tabular data, I see Word documents and Excel documents. I can import Word and Excel documents directly into my pages. That makes it extremely simple. Other means of importing the content in as well. Let me talk about doing that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my 5.5 folder and open up my Assets file. And inside the Assets folder, I can see there is my Word document, my josh underscore journal dot doc. Instead of going into the process of doing File and choosing Place, I'm literally going to take it from the Files panel and just drag and drop it to the page exactly where I want to place it. When I do that, I see a dialog box that appears that mirrors the same settings I have in my Preferences. So if you were watching in the last movie, we went to our Preferences and edited our Copying and Pasting options, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. For you Mac folks, you will not see this dialog box, but you do see something happen if you drag and drop a Word document into your files. The last option here, create a link. Let me show you what that does. I click OK. It literally creates a hyperlink to that file. So if you're wanting to put that asset online, allowing people to download that Word document on the Mac, you can just drag and drop the Word document to the page. It creates the link, and the name of the link is the same thing as the name of the file. That's pretty cool, and that may be a feature that you need to do from time to time. That's not what we're going for here, so I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to drag and drop the document back on the file. And for those PC folks that are still with me, now check out our options. We can do only text, text with structure, text with structure plus the basic formatting, and then we also have the full formatting. These are the options that we had available to us in our copying paste. So I'm going to click on insert the contents, and we're going to do text with structure, plus basic formatting, and we'll click OK. And as soon as I do that, it brings in the text. Those are the same options you get with copy and paste. It's six of one, a half dozen of the other. I tend to think that this is a little bit easier because I don't have to open it up in Word. I don't have to select everything. I don't have to copy, and I don't have to come back here and paste. I can simply drag and drop. I'm sorry to say this feature doesn't work on the Mac, but do take note of the fact that if you want to link to an external Word file, it's as easy as dragging and dropping as well.